previously on Dungeons to Hyperion. We set the rules for this series and started an entrance one with nothing to our name. We grinded floor after floor, getting money, upgrading our gear, and just did our first F6 completion as we hit Cata level 24. It's your boy Jibs and welcome back everybody to another episode of this Dungeon to Hyperion Challenge. I do want to jump in quickly to the auction house, and as I do, I'll remind you to use code SWEET in the Hypixel store. It really is much appreciated. Now as we're here, we're going to kick off this video with a gear upgrade. With last episode's F6 completion under our belt, we can actually go ahead and buy Necromancer Lord Armor. It should be a slight upgrade from my current drag set, but I don't want the full set. We're only going to want boots and pants. So looking at our options, I think I'm going to want these five star wisdom five pants for 8 million coins and then similar looking boots. Let's go ahead and throw on the new gear and look at that. And then from here, we'll go to storm when we hit F7 and hopefully that'll happen today later on in the episode. But for now, that's good on armor. And so we'll hit the bazaar to buy a recom and apply that to our spirit scepter as we do want to keep using that guy. Now we do still have about 17, almost 18 million coins in the purse. Plus coming off of last episode, we have a few items to claim in the bazaar and a few items in the auction house. So now with 26 mil in our purse, I want to go ahead and try to grab a few more accessories. We still only have the very basic ones along with the scarf's thesis. And so getting a few more of these will help increase our stats. I think a great one to get is the experience artifact. I'll buy a master skull, even though they only really help in master mode. Then a quick vaccine talisman, farming talisman, speed talisman, talisman of coins, potion affinity ring, magnetic talisman, Wood Affinity Talisman, Sea Creature Artifact, Feather Artifact, Healing Ring, Gravity Talisman, Fish Affinity Talisman, Mineral Talisman, Night Vision Charm, Lava Talisman, Fire Talisman, Candy Artifact, Emerald Ring, Farmer Orb, Wolf Ring, a Haste Ring, Biter Talisman, Shark Tooth Necklace, Bat Artifact, New Year Cake Bag, Intimidation Ring, Lucky Hoof, Personal Compactor, Bat Person Talisman, and lastly for now, a Beastmaster's Crest. I know that's not great, but but I think it's pretty good for now. It's just hard on a challenge like this because we are limited in what we can do on the server, but we're up to about 250 magical power. And so while we quickly save up a little bit more money for probably some Horns of Torment, we can go ahead and take something like Slighted and throw our tuning points into like intelligence, maybe health, about a mil left in the purse. And we've increased our stats quite a bit actually. So, I mean, this is a dungeon video. Let's warp to the dungeon hub and jump back into dungeons. Although we have that F6 completion, I'm not sure we're full ready yet so I'll jump into some f5s and we'll get the show on the road let the dungeoneering begin today of course you always want to clear before secrets so let's get that done ASAP then we can do trap and such and I think in a second they should be heading on to the boss here we are and dead he is what we got what we got absolutely nothing as expected let's grab our wood chest and keep going it is another livid killed oh we got some sa legs too We'll take those legs though. Not great, but a little bit of profit. I do use bad line for all my profit comparing dungeon solver needs. Another shadow assassin legs for 170k, but in this chest here, we've got a wisdom and a legion. Might as well throw it up right away before we jump into the next. So about five runs there, caught up, got back in the swing of things, and now we're doing F6. It's mostly clearing up to like F4, F5, and then five, six, seven is when secrets really become more important too. So now is when I gotta start remembering the routes and not just kind of running around Anyway, we should be good to go through pretty soon here. And with Trap, it's off to the boss fight. Just realized we don't even have a tank this run. Doing all right, though, I guess. A couple deaths just gives us an S here this time, but that's all right. Do feel pretty good to keep running it back. There's an S+. plus. Here we go. Not good looks, though, on the loot, of course. Aha! So, profit in F6 is rare, but it is not impossible. We've got a recom here for six mil i'll take that purchase just got another recon from f6 also noticing that that same run got me to catacombs level 25 what a milestone and so we continue to do a few more f6 runs but guys i'm getting so antsy i just want to go ahead and give floor seven a shot now in these recent runs we've managed to get two recoms and i've actually kept one of them so that's gotten us up to about 13 mil along with just some other enchants and then we've been selling a bit of gear but we have nine mil to claim and most of that is really just from our wise pieces our boots and pants that we changed out and so can now sell anyway let's claim all of that up to hit 22 almost 23 three mil in the purse 
so that we can jump back in the auction house and go ahead and buy some wither goggles. I've been using shadow goggles for a long time and I probably should have upgraded to wither goggles at the beginning of this video, so we're gonna do it right now. Of course, the dream is a good deal on some five-starred Wisdom 5 wither goggles. Let's go ahead and rip this pair here for 11.8. Then we'll add that spare recom onto it making that legendary, and we'll switch it on out. We're looking pretty good now in terms of armor, and then there's a lot of miscellaneous items that you need, like a wither cloak sword, a bonzo staff. I'm thinking maybe we want a blue whale pet, but you know what? Let's just go ahead, hit the dungeon hub, and give it a shot. We'll see what happens. We'll probably fail a few times, but as long as we get a completion, eventually all will be good. There's a free completion run, but unfortunately Papaya is a little too skilled for me. Again, doing my best to keep the party within five cata levels. Of course, the Perm VC one is the only one we can join. Don't really want to do that right now. Oh my gosh, wait, we potentially found a party that works. <laughs> Here we go. The first F7 attempt on this challenge. We have a tank, which is good, but they are a low level tank. So we'll see how it goes. Oh my gosh, we got that mini, let's go. This is definitely not the most efficient run, but I got no problem with that. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I guess we went through with an S, but I'm not complaining here. I thought we had both crystals, though. Okay, at least now we do. There we go. Alrighty, next phase <laughs> as we're dead instantly. Nice. Yep, nice. As expected, a lot of fails. A lot of fails. I am going to go ahead and grab a Bonzo Staff for more movement. That would have been a steal. A normal one is fine, and we'll find a party to give it another go. All right, I guess we found group two here. We do have two mages, but a healer and a tank this time. Let's see if that helps. Happy to puzzle away a bit until we make it to phase one. So we are on through. Tank's holding up pretty well this time. Let's see if I can even... Yeah, yeah, I still got it. I still got it. All right, this next phase caused trouble, though, last time. Let's see how it goes. You guys want me to go over there? I can do my best. Oh my gosh, I got it, but I'm dead. On to the terminals, though. Let's go. Simon Says is done. The same color. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Yep, click, click, click. Click, 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 click. Yep, yep, yep. We still got the movement. Last set here. Go on through. Quite a few deaths across the team, but we made it through the terminals. Alrighty, he's off to the center. I'll just keep shooting from out here. Oh my gosh. We've done it. <laughs> there was no chance we were getting an S plus first try, especially not during Paul, but let's go. The healer tank combo is what we needed, and this unlocks so much for us. For all the new purchases though, we need a lot of money. So I'm going to old reliable, floor number two. Let's go grab a bunch of scarf studies, a bunch of recoms, and just go make bank. Oh yeah, look at that, 50K for scarf studies. That's why we're here. And we'll take another one out of the obby chest. Lit, bro. It's not a studies, but red scarves are very profitable as well. Not gonna argue about that one. Oh ho, a recon, let's go. That's the profit we need right there. And just like that, as we get tons of scarf studies, I've sold a handful. Plus I've got five, six more right here. And we did it in about a day, getting our scarf boss collection up to 200, which also gets us a free adaptive blade. So back to the hub, we can finish selling everything off. Then to collect it up, we've got about eight mil in the bazaar, tons of items and books sold here. And then almost 20 mil can be collected from the auction house. Gotta love those scarf studies. With all that, we're up to almost 50 mil in the purse and we can start spending it on these gear upgrades. I will be sticking with the spirit scepter as a weapon. Then this bow works for the puzzles and whatnot. The bonzo staff for movement. We'll need a wither cloak sword for its creeper veil ability. The cheapest plain one works for now. Then as for gear, we're going to keep the wither goggles, but retire the other three pieces and instead buy some storm as long as we can afford it. Again, five stars in wisdom would be huge. So let's grab these necrotic boots here. That was 12 mil. Then we'll spend 25 mil on the chest plate. Quite expensive, but we had to bite the bullet there. And with our balance getting low, we'll have to sell some of our older armor pieces to be able to afford these pants that we need for over 20 mil. Now we're looking like an F7 gamer. Next up, I want to go ahead and deal 
with my essence. You can see we actually have a pretty decent amount across all categories. Quickly in the wither shop, we can increase our intelligence and health a bit. Maybe even blessings too. In the undead shop, you know we're upgrading boss luck again. That'll be huge, especially as we're going for the hype. Next up, when the winter island opens, we can spend a little bit of the ice essence to increase our mage class XP. But the rest of it, honestly, I feel like we can sell. So let's toss it all up. We got spider, 13 mil, and dragon essence. And all of that together will give us 23 mil to collect. And since F7 is going to be pretty tough, we'll use that money to grab a pretty decent leveled blue whale pet. 22 mil here, but it'll increase our health a ton. And now we're looking even more ready. About time we jump back in though, it's been a couple days since that F7 completion just because we had to make a ton of money. So let's go ahead and set this party finder to floor 7 and see if we can find a group that we can start getting S plus with. Alrighty, uh, had to go ahead and start my own party, but I think we've potentially found a decent group of about Cata 24s. So we'll do our secrets and our puzzles and eventually make it to phase one where we can now actually help out. Let's go, crush them again. All right, well, we died, but now we're back. We're kind of rocking through it. It's still S plus right now. Oh, come on over here. Someone died to lose our S plus. There he goes. 299 is tough. Oh no, man. You know what? We're grabbing some dungeon pots. Let's do it, boys. With this group, though, we are finally through with a 301 and should begin to get a first shot at the handle. Let's go. Bang. Unfortunately, nothing. But, hey, that was hype. And actually, I did see some profit. We got a soul eater for a little bit of money. Nice. Another completion, just an S, but it got us to Kata 27, which is pretty awesome. We can play with Kata 32s now. Oh, and uh, honestly, uh, a few more completions and fails later, I think. And, yes, sir, our second S+. plus. Let's go, boys. Just gotta find a good tank, honestly. And through the terms again on S+. Plus. Let's go. Yes, sir. Another Wither Catalyst for 250k profit. I'll go ahead and take it. And again, we're through. This group's cracked. Come on now. Ah, no. Enough of this poor stuff, guys. We gotta buy some kismets. If S pluses are gonna be this hard to get, we're gonna need to make the most of them. We'll just get a few for now. That was basically our whole balance, but four of them. We'll probably be pretty smart of us to grab a Jerry Sheen gun as well, along with a stonk in case we ever need either of those. Let's also grab our free rogue sword just in case we need some extra speed. And now we go for it. Aha, another victory. 170K in the Emerald, but we can re-roll now and get nothing. Alrighty, new group. Did it again. Let's try the re-roll. Ooh. At least we got profit here. Recom precursor gear. We like that. We like that. Here we go. Two tries at the handle. Attempt number one and number two. About 500k profit though with a, a soul leader in a last stand. A goaded 305 on this one. That feels solid for sure. Last kismet for now. Ay 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 man. Now, I may not carry on the DPS, but I'm going crazy on the terms. Plus, with grabbing crystals, too. I'll grab a, a couple more for now. Come on, man. Not like I'm expecting to get it right now, but it would just be crazy. Oh my gosh, Kata 28, but also handful of runs and I forgot to set my RNG meter, man. Not that this will help too much just yet, but it does bump up that chance for the Necron handle to drop. The dream, 300, nothing here. Reroll, check the gold. No handle. Tough, tough. Gimme, 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 gimme a reroll. Ah, ha, ha, man. Alrighty, an S plus. Probably to end off today's runs. And here, on the second roll, a handle. Not a handle. Pain. Now, we're not making a lot of money up in floor seven, but we are getting good chances at the handle, especially when we bring those kismets for rerolls. Also from F7, we're getting pretty good kata XP as we're almost up to level 30 already in both our kata level and class level. As we do get closer to that, we'll be able to play with more experienced parties and get S pluses quicker and more regularly. Anyway, that is about gonna do it for today's video. We spent about 35 hours of playtime on this episode and it brings our total playtime of the series up to about 80 hours. So who knows, we may even be able to get the handle and the hype in under 100. Anyway, that is the goal, so be sure to subscribe so you do not miss us doing that and completing the challenge, hopefully in the next video. But anyway, that is going to do it. We're up to 35 Necron kills today, and I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Adios and good. Bye.